Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Pathfinder Kingmaker. This is Girl RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today. Why is there a bird over there? What is wrong with that bird? Do I have my graphics on the maximum setting? The, it look, the, game's looks so, the game looks so gorgeous, even even on the lower settings. I think so. I think that, uh, that, that that's, that's how it goes. Okay. Look at all that. Look at all that. So what are we doing over here? Well... Uh, we're trying to figure out exactly how to not be blind. That's one thing right there. That's permanent. We'll figure it out eventually. Uh, we're also uh, saving Tristian over here because apparently this bear, it's not, it wasn't a bear, um, yeah, was trying to kill him and killed us a couple of times. Your aid came at just the right time, stranger. My name is Tristian. I'm a priest of merciful Saren Ray. Another moment and I fear I would have been on my way to her chambers somewhat earlier than my destiny requires. A Saren Ray fanatic. Talk about people I'd be just as happy not seeing for the next thousand years. You're wounded. Do you need aid? I am a priest of Saren Ray and a skilled healer. I have done all I can, but it will take some time for my strength to return in full. But worry not. I will make my way to the trading post nearby and wait there as I make my recovery. How did you get here? I was investigating this fog. I believe you have already discerned that it is magical in nature. Yes. I serve Saren Ray, goddess of sunlight. Can you say... Discovering an evil magic that isolated living creatures from the sun alarmed me in no small way. I was able to locate the place the fog originated from, but was too presumptuous and almost got into the beast. Presumptuous is probably the word. Can you say Saren Ray more? Because I think I, I get... Like, he said Saren Ray every single line. <laughs> every, absolutely every single line. Let's go. Uh... You could help me on my journey. No, wait a minute. A local nymph directed me here. Well, I don't know if she's local. I found her in this country, but maybe she's she's off this country. She thinks that the enchanted fog in this temple was created by the druid who serves the bandit leader here. I, I expect defeating the beast guards should cause the fog to clear? I have never spoken to nymphs, but I believe their assessment is accurate. The creatures occupying this temple are f far from ordinary animals. The power that moved them here is related to the fog. The beasts hold the fog as anchors hold a ship dancing in the waves. From what I can tell, once the beasts are defeated, the fog should begin to clear. The beasts are defeated. What now? Praise be Saren Ray. Oh, there it is. Now, if my knowledge serves, the fog should weaken and eventually clear entirely. We need only wait. <laughs> Perhaps somewhere more hospitable? Yeah, well, with those beasts dead, I have other matters to attend to, I guess. Farewell. Please wait. You saved my life. I have no treasures or relics, but I have knowledge and the divine power of a priest. I wish to aid you in your journeys. Alas, my wounds won't allow me to join you right now. I will travel to the trading post. I hope to be able to repay you for my life once I recover from these wounds. Yes, you do that. Man, do all priests need to be annoying? Because he was sort of a little bit annoying with all the Saturn Ray going on. Uh, but, I mean, uh, when I say annoying, I mean just one note. I guess we found that Harim is not necessarily one note. What do we have over here? Five, year, five years in the depths of the forest. Revelations of a disciple of the teacher of Valo by Surya the Wolf. Let's see what that is. I spent half my life in the temple of Saturn Ray. And at the end... She found enlightenment on uh, the way to the wolf in cutting wood, carrying water, and working without thought of thanks. Well, if you work for yourself, you don't need to think of thanks. You just work for yourself, and that's how it works. Uh, what uh, I need date from newest to oldest. That is indeed what I need. I also have that over there. I have a quarter staff plus one. Nobody uses that though. I don't have. Nobody has quarter staves, so we're good. Actually, I don't know if that's the correct polarization of the word. Why is that bird there? Oh no. We're going through the bird. Oh well. Uh, we have ourselves a gold ring, some other things, a uh, green quartz. I'll take that, thank you very much. Uh, I thought this was gonna lead to places. I honestly thought it was just, I mean, it's broken and stuff. So, yeah, a to a dungeon, a dungeon, right? What do we have? Clear quartz, coins and pearls, yeah. And here is... Oh, it's not foggy anymore. Yeah, I really didn't... So there were more beasts. There were, of course, the uh, the fogs, the frogs and all that sort of stuff. The water is crystal clear and seems to radiate a gentle, soothing 
shine. This is bad. Cleansing waters deal damage to Jethal. Please don't. Um, let me let me cleanse ourselves. Can we? Jethal, go away. I don't know why. The oh. So that's how that works, okay. So you stay back there. And we can get... That's the spirit. Lovely. There we go. Very, very good. Okay, moving on then. Since our job here is done. Uh, we have area exits all over the place. We can't go up there, can we? Uh, we have been here, but no, we can't. Um, so that's that, I guess. Let's look at our journal. Uh, let's see, now that the Temple of Elk is cleared out, we can return to the trading post, and of course, uh, companion quest, prove your worth, that was not it, what was it? Uh, Tusk, that's the one, Jod, somewhere in the wilds, he asked us to tell him if we happen to find it, we are gonna need to talk to him then. Okay, moving out, uh, we do have, uh, I need to look at the board thing, because we probably need to take care of that, but my concern here is more in regards to the Stag Lord, because we still need to find him and kill him. At least the fog is not there anymore. Let's see. So, uh, now that the Temple of Elk is cleared out, we can return to the trading post. Yeah, that sounds good. So, do I want to take a different route? I could go there. I could go there and mess with them. Doesn't that sound like a lovely thing? I think it does. Let's go. Ooh. There's multiple... Ooh. I don't want to waste time. But this is going to be a dead end, so I want to go there. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go this way. At least now we know where that goes. And here we are at the Technique League encampment. Mm-hmm. Okay. I remind you what these guys were. They uh, wanted to enslave us, I think, and uh, I just basically killed them. But one of them fled. Let's actually check on the on the quest. Because it was... A, there it is. A group from the Technique League led by a woman named Kalana, or Kalana, I don't know, attacked us and tried to take us as slaves. But again, just one of us, not all of us. Uh, and I routed them because I, I am brilliant and amazing. As one should do. So, did I get a full heal on everybody? Because it looks like 5, 2, and 7. Got bunnies. Okay. Can I keep back in? Okay, this is good. Okay. A lot of fog. It's interesting that it is foggy over there. I thought it was going to be the, like the fog that we took care of. So, there are swordsmen over here. Let's get ourselves into position. And I think we'll be okay if we just... Storm forth. Uh, Kalana is over there. Murder. Wait a minute. They have slaves. Ah, the slaves are not fighting us. Uh, there's more of them. Okay, you guys are gonna need to attack there, and you're gonna need to get out. This is good. Okay. And then you. Uh, we're gonna get a song in here. And then you. Uh, can get a shield of faith, I suppose. Let's go with the resistance first on her. Good. Okay, so you stop that, and uh, we have archers coming in, so that's bad news. Uh, let's actually... We have... Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Let's attack you, and let's bring you back here. Uh, what is that? That's a swordsman. Swordswoman, I would say. Maybe. I don't know. Let's, let's bring you around and see what I can do here. Uh, think things are going well. Violo oh, this is good news. I don't know what that is though. That's a that's a summon. Uh, should be fine. Okay, let's get you to attack that over there. That's a miss, but we'll be okay. Uh, that was an initiative check. That's why did you want to pause? Spell. That's good. Okay, is that thing gone? No. Okay, now you guys go over there and murder. Good stuff. Are we attacking over here? That's a kill already? 
Or is it because we're taking damage? We're not taking damage. No, which I just as I said that she's dead. Okay, that's a kill. Hmm, that archer is good. Are you guys attacking here? I think we'll be okay there. Valerie is holding steady. Come on. There we go. That was a shot from the arrow. Pretty good. Oh, Harim. Please don't die. Or take damage. It's expensive. Oh, come on. He just keeps taking damage. That sucks. You're fighting defensively. Just all the time, please. There we go. Probably should go berserk or something. Nope. No need for that anymore. Kalana drops her weapon and raises her hands, which are covered in blood. Mercy! Don't kill me! The half-orc bears his fangs. Uh, that is how you talk now, wretch. I've wanted to do this for so long. He casts a spell on his outstretched palm, and sparks begin dancing upon it. It's, that's Rango, Regondar. Who's he? The half-elf puts her hand on his shoulder. That's uh, Octavia. Uh, she reminds me of... Ah, what's her name? She really remind. I mean, I'm sure. I'm sure it reminds you of you as uh, of her as well. Uh, Evangeline Lily, especially in uh, the Hobbit, which the third one, which I haven't seen, because I saw I watched the second one. I was like, yeah, this sucks. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Regondar, he says, come now, let her go. It's one thing to kill her in battle, but executing her unarmed. Why spoil the joy of being free? Octavia, are you out of your mind? This filth is from the Technique League. By her own hand, she enchained us. And you want to forgive her? You think she'll thank you? <laughs> she'll just gather another band and try to, to catch us again. Um, apparently I'm the one making the decisions here, so let me ask you some questions. I will tell you everything, says Kalana. I, I, know, I know much. You will see. I am more used to you alive than dead. Okay. So tell me about the... Uh, while you're alive, tell me about the Technique League. It is an ancient alliance of wizards and scholars of the Numerian uh, wastelands and its technologies. We are the mightiest organization in the wall of Numeria. We possess powers that the un uninitiated could only dream of, and our agents are everywhere, not just in Numeria. Believe me, th these are not people you want as enemies. Oh, you're threatening me. Okay, she's di she's gonna die. Sounds promising, says Jethal. It does indeed, Jethal, although I will remind you, you have died just now. Only cowards with no honor reckon sheer power or a good reason for an alliance, says Valerie. Jethal raises her eyebrow, but doesn't grace Valerie with an answer. I think she agrees with her, somehow. Um, so is it normal for the Technique League to grab random people from the road and enslave them? She shrugs. The Technique League is so strong because it's never ashamed of taking what it, what, what it needs, whatever the laws may say. We were missing a slave. We underestimated you. That was a mistake, of course. I apologize. Yes. I, I'm glad you do before you die. What are you going to do? What are you doing in this part of the world? I was sent by Maestro Janush. He's a very important person and a mighty wizard who taught these two ungrateful slaves everything they know. He will be furious to find out they are free and will certainly find one who's uh, the one who stole the Technique League's property again with the threats. I will enjoy uh, killing you, or you know what? I'm gonna let that other fellow kill you, uh, or. I mean, I don't know if eventually Lily is going to allow for that. We'll see. Uh, believe me, she says, he does not need me for that. Whether you kill me or not, he'll find you in no time, exclamation mark. Oh, you're going to die more, even more. You say this Magistro guy, was it not Maestro? What was his name? Are you... Yeah, Maestro. Um, well, I guess it's sort of the same word, maybe. Uh, you say this Magistro guy is yours? Of yours will find us anyway, says Amiri. Then I guess we don't get anything out of sparing you. Yeah, Amiri's totally right. You'd best not anger the Maestro. If you kill me, he'll be furious. Oh, no, you she's not very smart. Oh, I'm scared, says Amiri. You know, I actually like getting slavers and other assholes angry with me. Then I get to cut them to pieces. Mm, why did, uh, did you have these two in chains? Because we owned them, exclamation mark. The te I, don't, I really don't like her tone. And that's why I'm mocking her with exclamation marks, you know, that I read out a lot. Uh, I don't like her tone. The Technique League, she says, spent vast sums of money on these two. We nurtured them, fed and treated them, even taught them magic for many years. They cost us a fortune, and we're not going to just set them free, whatever your local customs say. We're f we are fully in our rights. I don't understand what you mean. 
by rights. I don't know that word. It's not... I, I, I haven't been through the 17th century yet, so I don't know what that is. Listen to me, she says. Do not make any hasty decisions. Uh, yeah, I did say I don't have any more questions. I am an important person in the Technique League. Oh, that adds to the value of killing her. Uh, I have connections, she says. Oh, that also sounds good. You will benefit from such an... Oh, an, an ally. She wants an ally. She wants us to ally ourselves to her. So that kind of explains why Evangeline Lily was saying something about ally. Or might have been Rigongar over here. Uh, he doesn't remind me of anyone. Mm. Sean Connery, let's go with that. Uh, you see now what a slime ball she is. Step aside, let me fry her. Uh, yeah, uh, so it's the right thing to it's the right thing to punish your tormentor kill, for sure. Kill her, Regongar. Uh, she's pissed me off. I'll finish her myself. And eh, not really. I don't. I would not sully my hands. Um, as the well, I've done that already, unfortunately. As the future lawful ruler of these lands, and they are they really want me to know what alignments these things are. I intend to instate public executions. Oh my god. That is... Okay, I don't know if that... <laughs> what is that? Lawful evil? Or no, I guess... I don't know. I wouldn't... I don't know. Hmm. I guess it's up to you to make your own mind, maybe. Since I deleted the... Well, I guess not deleted, but you know what I mean. Remove the things that tell me and what, what these are. Would this be lawful good? Lawful neutral or lawful evil? I don't know. I, I meant immediately went with lawful evil, but then... You know, that's... It could, it could be anything. It could be chaotic, chaotic good. I could be chaotic evil. It could be anything, really. Absolutely anything. Uh, that's I, I. I don't have a uh, dilemma here, though. I. Yeah. Just yeah. Kill her. The Afwork bears his fangs in a grin of triumph and raises his hand, lightning sparkling. I zap thee with my heart. Oh, do you have a tiara? Because that would be cool. That actually would be really cool. But no, he'd need a uh, one of the little scepters and stuff I'm not sure if I'm just I'm that was a reference but I'm not sure if that's how it goes Octavia says I didn't mean to spoil the victory but on the other hand she deserved it ha <laughs> we're free I can't believe it free as the birds in the sky <laughs> ah, and he laughs I'm not gonna laugh but he should uh, Rigongar holds Octavia tight and she laughs lightly and kisses him on the lips Thank you. You have no idea how long we've tried to escape the Technique League. This is a miracle. Uh, so who are you? I guess they told us already. I mean, she told us. I am Rigongar, and this is Octavia. The rotten Numerian held us as slaves, but we are no mere scavengers. No, or you, should, you should say you're no mere slaves. You, you see the crowd that had guarding, they had guarding us? It's because we, can, we use magic, and I'm not bad with a blade if, the, if it comes to that. Yeah, they're all right, says Amiri. We can use them on our team. Yeah, we could. I wouldn't mind that. So what's that? What's this technique league? A huge man-eating spider catching all the Nomiri in its webs, says Octavia. They're a secret society of arcane spellcasters who study ancient technology. They have eyes and ears throughout this land and abroad. It's said they even have Kevoth cool in their pocket. The very so sovereign of Numeria. Now, they also control all the slave trade in the country. I've seen many a young treasure hunters, adventurers end on the at the slave market. Ah, may the Technique League rot in Abaddon. Now, there's nothing worse than a nation in which a secret criminal organization has co consolidated power, says Valerie. They're, they're not very secret, maybe. Even an openly cruel tyrant is better than the infection that festers in Umeria. Uh, so how did you get captured by Kalana? I've lost count on how many times we've tried to escape, says Octavia. I can't name all the things we have tried, but we were caught every time, and then they... Take us somewhere else. I don't know who want us uh, w want to buy us, but imagine how happy we were when we learned they were taking us to the Reaver Kingdoms, where slavery is forbidden. Indeed, says Rigongar. We tried so many times to escape, yet in the end, the League itself brought us to the Free Lands under heavy guard. I'll grant you, if I if it wasn't for you, who knows where we'd we go to next? Also, why can't we talk to them? Oh, we can. It's fine. Uh, just not talking to them because it's not important. Um, you know, important. Not they're important. That's just not important people. That's what I meant. Uh, of course, as a, I'm noting. I'm noting that these guys are our companions because they're not peasants. That's what I mean. Uh, you're good fighters. Mm, well, are they? Let's see. There's something we have to discuss. Want to join our group? Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, there's something we have to discuss. Go to Oleg, uh, Oleg's trading post. You'll be safe there. I'll return there soon. We will be waiting for you, but be careful you're not followed. The Technique League has eyes everywhere. Yes. 
Yes, they do. A warm welcome from the League. And that is a quest completed. I love it. Love it. Love it. Completing quests is the best. Okay, let's see what we have on these poor fools. Uh, let's see. We have nothing important there. I'll take that. I'll take that. Ooh, that was a, a nice... Nice thing. A helmet that didn't look like a helmet. Maybe it's the tiara that that other guy didn't have. That idiot left it behind. Okay, that's good. So that takes care of all of those. Then on this side, we're gonna have a masterwork longbow. Chocolate. Ah, uh, yeah. Go away. Uh, and let's free the prisoners. Let's also save just in case. Let's talk to them before we free them. Freedom! Freedom! Yes. Run for your lives. Although, you might be safer with me if you stick to me. Shadows of Absalom by Pax Grumeta. Uh, Nguan Quant peeped through a slit in the window shutter. And at the end, shall need a doctor. Hmm. As if to prove his words, the guest faltered and collapsed onto the, the knees and held head first onto the doorstep. What the heck happened just then? Hmm. Well, there it goes. Uh, and we have uh, some some nice stuff over there that might be good for what we have. Uh, so this is indeed where I am. Okay, that's good enough. Uh, we have a light chain armor. That's for you, right? Yeah, chain shirt plus one. Do we use light armor? I am medium, yes. Even though I might want to go with light eventually. Because of uh, dexterity penalty. I need to look at my... Uh, I need to look at my abilities and stuff. So, wasn't there the Masterwork Light Crossbow? She has a Masterwork Light Crossbow. How exactly does this Light Crossbow do 1d8? What? Oh, I see what it is. No, I don't, actually. I don't understand. Uh, she is 1d6. And that is 1d6. Ah, it might be because of her size. The crossbow changes size, and the arrows do few, uh, less damage. Okay, gotcha. Headband of vast intelligence. That sounds lovely. This head uh, headband grants its wearer uh, plus two enhance, uh, enchantment bonus to intelligence. Bonuses of the same type usually don't stack. Thank you. Uh, it's very good of you to teach me that. Uh, so I I do want a spellcaster in here, though. Can I wear that? No. I have a thing already in my head. Um, let's have you wear this. There we go. Uh, what else? We got Masterwork Longbows, uh, which is fine. Do you have a lot of strength that you do? That is a longbow. So, want that instead. That I'll keep. And what, what am I using? A composite longbow. Yeah. Okay. Composite longbow. She has that. And then you have Masterwork like crossbow. Good stuff. Also, we have gold ring and the rest of the stuff doesn't matter. Good. Good, good, good. Moving on. Looting this place. Uh, yeah, so basically I probably... Uh, I don't want to drop Lindsay back. Uh, I'll keep a rim with me. It's Yeah, this is the team. I, I don't want to drop Lindsay. But then she's not that good. Uh, but then she's here and she talks. She's one of the main characters. Mm. I'll do it for you guys. I'll do it for you because this is a let's play. What do we have? Scroll of Bane. Also, I don't really like that I'm absolutely blind. That is just not... That's not good. I'm sure there's going to be a way to remove blindness in a, in a spell eventually, but... Yeah, that's that's a problem. That And we're fatigued as well, so we need to be careful about that. Uh, let's see. So you're going to want that. Indeed, and you are you're out of those. Let's cast that on you. Then you... Nope, don't do that. Do this. Then you do that. And you do that. Lovely. Good stuff. Good, good, good. Okay. Moving on. These bunnies are enormous. I swear, if they decide to attack... To attack Lindsay, they'll they'll knock her down. Killed by a bunny. Okay, we're good. Yeah. Uh, and hopefully we'll arrive. But there, it's a big it's a big journey to get back to. Oh wait a minute. The heck? 
Where's the exit? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I can leave all the things. I don't need any of this. Uh, my heaviness is okay. Yeah, so basically... Oh, there she is! We saved Octavian and her friend Regongar from the greedy clutches of those technique leader adepts, which was one hell of a fight. Eh, it wasn't. It wasn't really. It was an okay fight. It wasn't one hell of a fight. So we need to go... Oh, that's where we need to go. So we could go there right now and fight. Or... Or we could explore. Oh, uh, we could explore on our way back, I mean. I'm, uh, um, I'm thinking of all the possibilities. So I kind of want to go there. We're also pretty slow. Are we exhausted? We're not exhausted yet. Uh, so I need to go this way. Ooh. No, no, no. I don't want to enter that location. So if I go... It's an ancient tomb. It's a pine patch. You've never been to this location, he tells me. Nice. You have visited this location. Which one was the one that murdered me? This one. And I bet this one murdered me as well. We're not going to do it right now. How do I get up there? Yeah, let's just go. Journey. We're doing it's slow work because we're fatigued. Uh, Stop, stop, stop. Yep. So can I rest in here? I can indeed. Uh, let's begin resting. Four hours. It's good. Aw. Spoil the food. Let's continue. And that should be a lot faster. Maybe. We don't know if it is. The forest itself is slow. Okay. Okay, let's enter. Um... Oh yeah, and now the game decides that it uh, doesn't want to let me move fast, unless they patched it out, which they hopefully have, because that's a weird thing that they do. Because now I'm carrying all this stuff. Ooh, Octavia is here waiting for me. With a del delighted smile, Octavia inhales the smell coming from Oleg's trading post. Fresh bread, she says. I can't believe it. All this time that we sat in cages and crawled in the mud, there were places in the world where they were baking fresh bread? And here we are, I bet that they have clean sheets. And maybe we can even take a bath. <laughs> a girl can dream. I they didn't let me take a bath. I just like that was sucky. Um, the food here is not very good. Um, yeah, get some rest. You deserve it. You can be sure of that. I've got years of rest to catch up on, and I'll be stuffing my face until I turn into a ball. You go. Uh, you do so much for us. It's all because you are so kind. No, wait a minute. Is it all because you're kind? She asks. Or maybe she smiles flirtatiously. Maybe it's because you've been charmed by my beauty. Well, I, I mean, I mean, yeah, I, but I was actually thinking of, of what was his name? Gorgorengor? I, I felt it was, that's why I was saying about the tiara and all that. That's, it's not okay. Come on, don't, don't come on to me and you're gonna, what's the word? I know, I know the word. I just, that uh, it doesn't apply here. Don't charm block me right now or something. It's not quite. I just don't want to. I'm gonna let her down easy. Um, what are we asking? We're friends. Yeah, we're friends. Uh, I'm taking care of you because you're in my party. I'm not taking care of her. She's taking care of herself. You're out of line. Mm. Uh, I'm not gonna say. Well, I'm definitely not that. Uh, yeah, let's, let's, we're friends, let's go with that. She smiles, yes, thank you. All right, enough talk, fresh bread and clean sheets await. That was very forthcoming. And now we're slow, see, that's what I mean. Why is this? Why do you do this to me, game? I do this to you. And the game does this to me. Greetings! Oh, wait a minute, it's the nymph. The nymph's tender voice, that was, I was going for a sort of goblin-esque voice because I saw green I was like anyway the nymph's tender voice comes to you softly the scent of flowers and evening dew is dizzying and I will tell you I cannot imitate this voice actress uh, I, I it, she's just Losa for me from Divinity Original Sin 2 um, but yeah she also has a very specific accent and uh, of course a very specific voice that there's no way I can even start getting close to that so I'm just gonna go with a normal soft tender voice in this dark hour I had not even dreamed of encountering someone in these lands who could stand against the one who blights me. If you appeared, and... Uh, but you appeared, and you brought hope along with you. With the strength of the fog fading, I am able to show you the way to the Staglord's Fortress. Please, go there. 
Slay our enemy before he can strike another blow. Oh, the I. What happens after I defeat the Stag Lord? Will I ever see you again? The nymph casts her eyes down for a moment. And you would. Would you like to see me again? Then yes, of course. I'll come to you once the Tormentor is gone for good. I really hope to have a chance to show you the true beauty of these lands. The meadows, the flowers... Uh, well... You can count on me. I'll deal with the Stag Lord and his minions. No one will ever harm you anymore. Your words resonate inside my soul. Now I can see that I chose the right person, worthy to hear my plea. The nymph leans forward and places something in your hand. Should you lose, my heart will stop with yours. But should you win, the sun shall rise once more over these lands. In its rays, in the ring dance of blooming life, we shall meet again. I'll leave you a small gift, a token of hope, and the reward that awaits you after all these hardships. Farewell. No. Take care. She didn't like the farewell? Take care. I do take care. Sometimes. Well, not really. Actually, I'm a terrible caretaker. Uh, oh, there's the, the little head muncher. Yeah, head chumper. We have a visitor! Jod Kavkin, a venerable beast of, priest of Erastil. Come on. There it is. Uh, he wants a word with you. The Jod Kavkin. Oh, did I talk to him already? I think I did. Hey, I like. How's it going? A fine day to you. What brings you by? Um, show me your wares. My wares. Your wares. Oh, look at all the people I have. Wait a minute. What? No. I mean, oh, they're lower level. Uh, they probably need to level up as as we as we get them. Um, yeah. This he doesn't have money. This is good. Uh, so let's look over here. Let's go with uh, weight in uh, descending order. Uh, so we have uh, some really nice stuff, but I don't need any of it. So I should sell all of it. Right? Yes. How much money am I getting? 7,100? Really? Boy, that's a lot. And then we have uh, some cool stuff back here. Okay. The Nymph's Gift. Plus two dodge bonus. Oh. I'm not using that. I'm a terrible... Oh, that's what she gave me. Okay. But as a farmer, I'm keeping one. Lesser phylactery of negative channeling. Oh, that's the other thing that's cool for... The cleric that we don't have anymore. Uh, topaz ring. Yeah, sell it. Silver chain. Sell it. What is that? Gold ring. Bone necklace. Over here. Do we have things that don't stack? I bet we do. I bet we do. I don't see any, but... We don't. We don't have things that don't stack. Uh, these are pretty heavy. She's a bit of a problem. Uh, do I need them? I probably will need them. They're not very powerful. So let's go... can't believe I'm selling Cure Light Potion. Cure, cure Light Wounds Potion. I'm Yeah, I'm gonna use them. But then again, they're so, they're so expensive. Like, to sell as well. 228? Yeah. If this is anything like Baldur's Gate, then I'm not gonna use them. Because I just don't use them. Uh, let's go with that. Uh, so we are... Oh, no, 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 no. They're not expensive. Sorry. The total is 228. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll keep them. And I'll use them then. Uh, then we have ones up here. Uh, these are all magic things. And then we have a bunch of other stuff back here. That does weigh things. But it's uh, for... for uh, Does weigh things? Weigh things? I said weigh things. I don't know why. Uh, but does wait stuff. Let's yeah wait descending. So we're starting with the silver disc. No, wait a minute. That's the lightest. No, you're just confused. Video game. Give me the proper one. Thank you. We have bear pelts and all the pelts and books. Yeah, we're gonna leave them behind. Actually, the books I probably should sell. Uh, we do have a container, so yeah. Uh, let's see. What is that? Ah, interesting. Yeah. Oh no! No 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 no! What the heck? Oh. Okay. So the gems are good to 
give. Because they are meant to be sold. Okay. Yeah. He didn't sell everything. That's interesting. Other. So what exactly did I offer? How does that work? It does look like I just, I'm just offering stuff that doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. That is basically... I, I just freaked out. I like it. So I could offer non-magical. I had this still? Apparently I did. And I can offer masterwork. How exactly did I still have that? Unless it's offering things that I don't have equipped. Let's hope that it doesn't. Let's steal. Okay. So. Let's look at our inventory here. No, it's all good. Oh, it's not all good. <laughs> it really isn't. I... Wait, no, wait, no, 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 no. No, it is. Okay, so they have their own equipment. Uh, and I really don't want you to have these things. Oh, come on. That's why it doesn't stack. Oh, I can double click. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Uh, and I can put that over there. And that over here. And I'll keep your... No, you don't have armor. Yeah, let's, let's just go with that. Uh, no, actually, you know what? You you keep that. Yeah, it's better that way. Just just in case. She is a chaotic good. Oh, they're both chaotic good. No, he's chaotic evil. Okay, that's cool. That's interesting. Uh, he's an eldritch scion. That sounds awesome. And she's a rogue wizard. Ooh, that sounds amazing. That is uh, awesome. It's like Imoen. Uh, in Baldur's Gate 2, of course. Uh, and Jod Kavkin in here. Yeah, you smack that, Amiri. Let's have a chat with Jod. How may I serve you? Oh, I knew I remembered your name. Oh, those those horses. Well, let's have a chat with him next episode. For right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Pathfinder Kingmaker. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.